47 crazy music facts everyone should know. In the late 80s, Lane Staley was working at the reception of the Music Bank, a warehouse where Seattle bands, including Alice in Chains, practiced. As he let in auditioners for the band's search for a lead singer, they deliberately auditioned terrible singers to push him to take the role. The final straw was a male stripper's audition, after which Staley finally joined Alice in Chains as their lead singer. Singer Dionne Warwick, upset with misogyny and rap lyrics, once set up a meeting with Snoop Dogg and Suge Knight at her home, where she demanded that they call her a bitch to her face. Snoop Dogg later said, I believe we got out gangstered that day. Joseph Williams, once the lead singer for the band Toto, was also the singing voice of adult Simba in The Lion King, and he is the son of Star Wars composer John Williams. The Offspring's lead singer, Dexter Holland, is now a doctor with a PhD in molecular biology and is contributing research into the cure for HIV. This would have been a better job for Robert Smith. James Blunt developed scurvy in university when he ate only meat for two months out of principle to annoy his vegetables vegetarian classmates. There is a Grateful Dead tribute band in America called Jerry's Middle Finger, in commemoration to Jerry Garcia, the founding member of Grateful Dead, who lost his finger when he was four after his brother cut it off with an axe in a wood-splitting accident. Castrati were singers who were castrated before puberty to develop a unique voice for singing. They were primarily in church choirs and operas. Italian operas without one would be doomed to fail. The Pope tried to ban them in 1748, but failed as it would drastically reduce church attendance. When singer Nat King Cole moved to an upper-class LA neighborhood, the homeowners association told him they didn't want undesirables moving in. Cole responded by saying, neither do I, and if I see anybody undesirable coming in here, I'll be the first to complain. The singer Cass Elliot, better known as Mama Cass from the Mamas and Papas, did not like her mama moniker a single bit, to the point where she named her 1973 live album and TV special, Don't Call Me Mama Anymore. The death of Lane Staley, singer of Alice in Chains, was discovered when his accountants noticed that no money has been withdrawn in two weeks. They informed his former manager, who then contacted his mother, who then called 911. Sublime's debut album, 40 Ounces to Freedom, was recorded in secrecy at the studios in California State University. University. The lead singer, Bradley Noel, recalled how the band would sneak in after closing time, stay there till 5 a.m., hide from security, and manage to get $30,000 of studio time for free. Robert Plant of Led Zeppelin had three children with his wife at the time, Maureen Wilson before divorcing in 1983, and then had a child with Maureen's sister, Shirley Wilson, making his kids both cousins and siblings. Wake Me Up When September Ends by Green Day is about lead singer, Billy Joe Armstrong's father, dying of esophageal cancer answer on September 1st, 1982, when Billy Joe was 10 years old. Steve Harwell, singer of Smash Mouth, originally started his career as a rapper in a public enemy-inspired rap group called Freedom of Speech, but abandoned the project after he heard Dr. Dre's The Chronic and realized that the genre was changing. The vocals for the 2006 Gnarls Barkley song Crazy were recorded in one take. Not only that, it was the first time singer CeeLo Green ever tried singing the lyrics. The song topped the charts in many countries and peaked at at number two on the Billboard Hot 100. When Primus played their song, My Name is Mud, at the rainy Woodstock 94, the crowd responded by pelting the band with mud. The band's singer, Les Claypool, stopped the song and said, when you throw things on stage, it's a sign of small and insignificant genitalia. The crowd ceased throwing. The lengthy guitar solo in Free Bird was created for lead singer Ronnie Van Zant, so he could have a rest from singing, as the band was playing several sets per night at clubs at the time. The lead singer of Thin Lizzy, Phil Linnett, was once asked what it was like to be black and Irish, and he likened it to a pint of Guinness. Anthony Kiedis, lead singer of the Red Hot Chili Peppers, saved a baby's life whilst filming Carpool Karaoke. A hysterical woman approached the set screaming, My baby can't breathe. Kiedis calmly took the child and restored its breathing through CPR. He then resumed filming the show. In 1994, country music singer Alan Jackson was asked to use a pre-recorded version of his song, Gone Country, when performing live at the award show. He protested by having his drummer perform with no drumsticks in his hands for the whole performance. The female backing singer during Elvis's infamous laughing version of Lonesome Tonight, who keeps singing as Elvis struggles to regain his composure because of it, was Sissy Houston, Whitney Houston's mother. Doogam singer Michael Stipe nearly died of scarlet fever in 1962, of hypothermia in 1974, and of a lightning strike in 1986. Kirsty McCall, vocalist and female singer in Fairy Tale of New York, died saving her son from an oncoming powerboat owned by a multi-millionaire while vacationing in Cozumel, Mexico. The singer from Cannibal Corpse, George Corpse Grinder Fisher, is an expert at playing arcade claw machines 
and donates the toys he wins to charity. Lucille Bogan was one of the first American classic female blues singers and songwriters recorded in the 1930s. Known for her sexually explicit lyrics, she was considered a dirty blues musician. In her song, Shave Em Dry, she sang provocative lines like, Now your nuts hang down like a damn bell clapper and your d stands up like a steeple. Your goddamn asshole stands open like a church door and the crabs walk in like people. The 80s music star Plastic Bertrand wasn't actually the singer for his first four albums, and the public had no idea for 30 years. He only received 0.5% of the royalties for his international hit, Sa Plan Pour Moi, with the majority likely going to the song's actual singer, Lou Dietrich. The song Hound Dog by Elvis Presley was not originally by Elvis. The original performer of the song was Big Mama Thornton, who recorded it in 1952, four years before Elvis. Eartha Kitt, known as the original singer of Santa Baby, was blacklisted by the CIA after telling Lady Bird Johnson, you send the best of this country off to be shot and maimed. No wonder the kids rebel and take pot. Anthony Kiedis, lead singer of the Red Hot Chili Peppers, had a sexual relationship with a 14-year-old and wrote the song Catholic School Girls Rule about it. He also lost his virginity when he was 12 to his father's 18-year-old girlfriend, Lou Bega, Singer of iconic Cuban song Mambo No. 5 is a German man of Italian and Ugandan descent. His only interaction with Cuban culture was a vacation to Miami as a teen. In 1939, African-American singer Marian Anderson was denied permission to perform at Constitution Hall by the Daughters of the American Revolution. The hall had a white, performers-only policy. Anderson responded by giving an open-air concert on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial. In 2013, Tim Lambesis, lead singer of As I Lay Dying, was sentenced to six years in jail for hiring an undercover cop to kill his estranged wife. After his release, he reunited with his band, remarried twice, and in 2019, they released the album Shaped by Fire. A year later, he accidentally spilled gasoline on himself while adding it to a bonfire suffering burns over 25% of his body and was hospitalized. In 1998, Kazi Powell, drummer for bands like Jeff Beck, Whitesnake, and Black Sabbath, died in a car crash after being ejected through the windscreen. He was driving 104 miles per hour in the rain while drunk, without a seatbelt, on a flat tire, and still recovering from a motorcycle accident. At the time, he was also on the phone with a woman who was cheating on her husband with him. She asked, where are you? Powell replied he was on his way, followed by his final words, oh, and a loud bang. In 1983, Dennis Wilson, co-founder and drummer of the Beach Boys, drowned at Marina del Rey. After a day of drinking, he decided to dive into the marina to recover his ex-wife's belongings, previously thrown overboard from his yacht three years earlier amidst their divorce. The founding member and drummer of Avenged Sevenfold, James the Rev Sullivan, wrote a song titled, Death, then said, that's it, that's the last song for this record, just three days before passing away in December 2009.